Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Among Trees. Here we are. I am Acuraz. I am your host. And I have killed all my plants. But we're going to pretend like it never happened. Take a mulligan. Fortunately, we used up a lot of seeds. Or I used up a lot of seeds. I'm not going to place the blame on, on you guys for this one. So the sun's coming up. We're going to spend today fishing, gathering food, and probably crafting some things to go camping. So I see that I'm starving. Don't worry. Let's see here. I do probably need to make a watering can before any, but I won't do that until I plant some more seeds. I'm not ready to do that yet. I want to make a tent. I just want to take some sticks and some jute rope. That shouldn't be a problem. I want to make a campfire. Again, sticks and jute rope. So we need uh, 12 sticks and 8 jute ropes to do these two items. And then steel wire, steel pipes. That's unrelated. Let's go see if we have enough. We should. Pretty sure we have eight jute rope. Yeah, we have ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we need twelve sticks. We probably have those upstairs. I'll go ahead and eat now. Got a lot of stew here, so let's eat. Let's check on Moxie here. See how she's doing. Not hungry. Well, we can always give her some love, though. She's always hungry for affection. Look at those eyes. You can just tell that she appreciates them. Appreciates those, uh, those pets. Alright. It's over here, isn't it? Yes. Do I have... I have four sticks. Maybe I have more over here. Nope, that's fish. Okay, let's go chop up some sticks then. Let's go chop some sticks. Oh, tree's back. <laughs> Alright. I said, go away. Yeah, the one thing I wish this game had was if you just held down your mouse button and you just keep swinging the axe. It always falls into my mouse for some reason. I don't think, is there any more up here? Yeah, if there is, I can't get to it. So yeah, we're just going to take today to uh, get ourselves squared away for our big expedition tomorrow. Planning prevents piss poor performance and all that sort of stuff. So let's get started here with working up a good little bit of cardio. Sweat by chopping some wood. But, uh, I don't want to stand there. It doesn't matter in this game. It's just fun to pretend like I'm about to get crushed. I don't think it does. I don't think I've let it actually hit me yet, so maybe it does. Maybe it will kill you. I'm not really too willing to find out. I'll let some other YouTuber figure that one out for you guys. Someone's... If I die, nobody's going to feed Moxie. Of course, I guess Moxie could probably feed herself quite easily. How are we doing on space? Oh, yeah, we got 12 sticks right now. I think that's all we need, but... I want to gather some more because we're going to end up wanting to cook anyway. Plus it's always good to have planks and that sort of stuff around. Laying around the house. So, for those of you that don't know, I'm going to announce this on my Long Dark series as well. Uh, the last episode of The Long Dark, Secret Passage, uh, was the title of it. Um, I sort of had to cut that episode short because there was some movement in the house and before about an hour before anybody was supposed to normally wake up. And uh, it turned out, I came back and I said, yeah, my daughter has a temperature of like 102, has a headache. Um, so we're going to get her tested. turned out that she is positive for COVID, so... We are in quarantine right now, and my youngest daughter, she's running a temperature also. Doesn't have the headache, but she kind of is like two two days behind on symptoms. So, luckily, uh, Ellie, Ellie, my oldest. I have Ellie, that's my oldest, and then Maddie, my youngest, who's five. So Ellie's seven, Maddie's five. Um, they were they've been pretty much their old selves, their usual selves. Ellie had a little bit of a headache this evening. 
just before bedtime and uh, give her some Motrin for that. I'm going to keep her on Motrin just to kind of stay ahead of her. That's where we're at right now. My wife, uh, she's a nurse and uh, um, she wasn't she wasn't planning on going in, but I guess the hospital has a new policy that as long as you don't actually have it, uh, you don't have to quarantine, even if your family member has it. So she went and got tested. I think it's because they're so desperate for nurses right now at the hospital because things are so busy with uh, people being off because they actually have it or just being overloaded with patients. So that's the reason for treating them a little different than normal people in society, you know, just the, the rest of us. So she went and got tested. My wife is negative right now. So that's good. Um, she's scheduled to work this Saturday. So I'll be, I, but I'm off for the next 10 days. Uh, my department has me off the next 10 days, uh, assuming I don't, I don't catch it myself, but good luck trying to isolate a five-year-old and a seven-year-old inside of a house, like in their room for 10 days, you know, it's not going to happen. So we're just uh, staying away from everybody else. We're kind of assuming that unless we've already been exposed to it and we, uh, have, we didn't even realize it, you know, like in the early, early days of, of COVID, um, we're, we're kind of both expe expecting to get it ourselves at one point or another. So that's where we're at. Just figured I'd let you guys know. Um, I plan on using this time to, uh, flood you guys with some videos. I'll tell you that much. I, uh, picked up, a uh, uh, Plague's Tale Innocence, I believe it's called. Looks pretty good. I figured it was very fitting. <laughs> it's a very topical for what I'm going through. Um, but I might, I might share that with you. It's completely different than, uh, games I've normally played. It's, it's more like a Assassin's Creed sort of sneaky type thing. So... I might bring it to you guys. I might not. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me do a playthrough of that. It looks really good, though. So let's make this. And let's make this. And then I'm going to fill my fire here with uh, sticks. But not start it. There we go. So we are ready to go. I wonder if I can eat these vines, these random vines, I don't know. Okay, let's put the rest upstairs, along with the planks. I don't have any storage. Yeah, I can put some planks here, not much though. One, plus four more. Alright, the rest are going to have to go in here. Alright, we're in pretty good shape when it comes to firewood. And we've got ourselves a tent and a fire. So that's nice to have. Now let's go see if we can make ourselves some cooking equipment. Some camping cooking equipment here. Uh, steel wire and two steel pipes. Okay. Steel wire and two steel pipes. One, two. All right. Let's go make it. We got it. Let's do that. pick it up that would help so we are ready to go for tomorrow i think i'm gonna go ahead and go do some more fishing got fishing equipment up here though i do want to test out and see if we can get more than one use out of this campfire we probably can let me see i wonder if it gives details not really doesn't say much about it nope oh uses left three so you get three per, whoa, you got to kind of plan ahead, don't you? Okay. So we definitely don't want to run out and just try to test it out at the side of the, uh, at the side of the lake. That's for sure. All right, let's save our game and let's, uh, go do some fishing, shall we? Gotta have plenty of food ready for Moxie. My favorite little fishing spot right here. What's that? Nope, can't 
can't do anything with that. Let's see here. Yeah. Let's bind it to three. I don't want to have that. I don't want to accidentally hit my campfire and light it and use up a, one of the uses, so. I don't even want that in a quick spot, or a quick, quick slot. Passed out just a little bit past. Oh, we got one already. It's going to be a bleak fillet, I believe. Yep. There we go. I almost did it. I almost discarded it. Tight lines. Tight lines, folks. Do you guys remember that game for the Nintendo Black Bass? That was like my favorite. Actually, Trophy Bass 4 by Sierra was the best one, I think, for fishing. But uh, Black Bass was up there. I kind of miss it. Not Super Black Bass, just Black Bass. The way the little worm would dance around. That was just such a good game. It's like, I find it hard to believe that there's two really good fishing games and fishing's like the most popular sport in the world. And people, there's like no real seriously good games for it. I mean, this is pretty decent, but it's unrealistic, you know, given how much, how many bites and cons consecutive casts you get. Okay, so we got some redfin. Um, we're starving again? Eh, we're not really, really starving. We're okay. Not quite ready to use my stew yet. Yeah, I just really enjoyed those games. That was a lot of fun. I could play them for hours. It's stuck. Whoa, that's new. Avoid obstacles. I didn't think I had an obstacle. And what was what kind of obstacle is moving it that way? I'm kind of confused. I didn't get to read the whole thing. There we go. perch and a bunch of uh, bleak fillets. Five total. There it is. Don't let the lure sink too low. Is that what it said? I was actually ra reeling it in pretty rapidly. Sink too I wasn't. I was, I was pulling that one in pretty quick. All right. That's weird. Uh, that mechanic needs to be fixed a little bit because I didn't think I was doing anything wrong there. I need to keep my rod tip higher. Well, not sure there. I think this is going to be a perch. Yes, it is. Rain perch. I'm going to try keeping the rod tip a little bit higher. Maybe that'll do the trick. Hi, hi. There we go. Okay, then maybe that was it. Maybe that's all I need to do. One more cast. They just shut down for the night? Nope. One more. Alright. Okay, let's eat. There we go. Oh, it didn't actually fill me up. That's right. Must have been one of those stews that I didn't quite make as nutritious as the others. But that's okay. That'll that'll get us through the night. Make 
Should run over here and check for this beehive real quick. Let me see. I'm gonna go over here and check for this beehive. See if there is one. I think it was right around this area, wasn't it? Well, no, we should see the, uh, there's some button mushrooms. We'll take those. Make a stew out of that. I thought the little hollowed out tree stump was uh, right around here somewhere. Maybe not. Yeah, we'll take some beads. Why not? Alright, let's go. Uh, it's starting to get cold. <laughs> Alright, let's head on back here. Yeah, we'll grab you. Throw you in the fire. Might as well. And you. There we go. Run, rabbits. Run. Run back to your burrows. Alright, I'm ready to go do some adventuring tomorrow. We're gonna have to figure this out though. Where we want to go. Let's take a look here at the map. So, I kind of get the feeling that this might be walled off down here. But I feel like we have more to explore up here because of how high this goes. So I kind of want to go up here and maybe camp out north of here. And then sort of explore this area. Sort of zigzag our way back this way. Or I could always go out this way and just kind of loop around and get, uh, just find the perimeter. And then kind of cut back this way and this way as we come back home. I don't know. Both of them seem alright. Cat's making noises behind me. Oh, I, I dared to leave a piece of cardboard out, so now it has to, like, dig its claws into it. Alright, let's see here. Let's do, uh, bleak filet. And that. Let's cook that up. That should warm us up nicely. There we go. All right, what else do we want to cook? Let's let's do this button mushroom and the perch. Now I wonder if eating this food can heal you if you're hurt by the bear, if you get injured. It looks like it can because it, it has it has attributes for the for your health. So, all right, no, no, no more sticks in the backpack. A couple of those. We got three soups. Uh, I might make. Uh, I might make one more. There we go. Just a straight fish soup. That doesn't give you any health benefits. That one was all about just keeping you from being too hungry. Okay. So we can carry those with us. I guess we could always cook on the road. But uh, we pro actually probably end up doing that just for the fun of it. Since we have the uh, the cook station now. All right. I wish I could stack these. I can't stack them. It's too bad. Uh, fish bones. Put those in there. Have too many of those. Stack some of those. All right. Let's uh, move over here. Put that in there. A couple soups. Yeah, you know what? We'll cook one on the road. It's fine. Put these fillets up here. I probably won't need the fishing rod. I can always make vegetable soup, which is perfectly fine. So we can just do that straight vegetable soup. All right, let's get some sleep. We are sleepy. Oxy, how you doing? You starting to get hungry? Okay. Well, you know what? I will feed you in the morning when you're very hungry, and then... You can come with me, and I will take a fish with me as well. That way you can be out for a few days with no problem. So let's get some sleep. What day is this? Oh, day 21. Three weeks, not bad. Okay. So Moxie, let's check you out here. 
You're still hungry? Okay, we're gonna wait on that, but I do want you to come with me. I want to have a companion with me, just for the fun of it. So let's see here. I don't need any of the, Oh, wait, there was a soup in there. Let's take that. Okay. Does it show the stats on it? It does. That's interesting. Okay, cool. All right, let's grab a fish for Moxie. Let's give Moxie a good fish. There we go. Okay. And uh, double check, make sure I got this, I got this, and I got the campfire. Okay. Let's get going. I'm going to save before I leave, just in case there is a glitch. This game is in early access, so. Moxie, you follow me. All right. Let's, uh, let's head off. I think we're going to go, let's head over this way. See what we can find. But we need to get moving right away. Now, I hope we don't get frozen out here. If it starts to get too cold, that might be a problem. Maybe I should do a test run out here. But I think the, the tent should give us enough warmth to overcome the, the night air. At least I hope so. Alright, grab some sticks. Since we're going to need those anyway. What's this, driftwood? No, oh, take that. If I have to drop anything, it'll, it'll be the driftwood. Should have probably left that for my return trip. And yeah, we'll cook that up. Right now we're just going on a little reconnaissance mission. What are we doing here? Yeah, just want to manage my space. In case we come across something like uh, chicory or something like that. want to have space available to pick it up immediately. Alright, where are we at? Okay, I need to go more to the right. So we'll head over this way. Okay, let's go ahead and eat that really nutritious one. I think it was this one, wasn't it? Nope, this one. Let's eat that one. And let's keep going. That was a good good breakfast we had right there. Chanterelle. Oh, those are actually pretty good. I can eat those if I need to make space. I can eat my way out of a inventory problem. the first tower that we discovered way back in episode one I believe it was thistle root hmm seems like I might want to pick it up but uh, you know what let's leave it for now we know it's we, we know where it's at it's not that hard to find I wonder if it's marked on the map. Probably not, because it's just a random plant. I mean, they'd have to mark, like, everything on the map, right? They'd have to put, like, every little stick, twig, and... Thing like that, so I'm not surprised they didn't put that on there. So we've been through this area before, so I'm going to edge a little bit this way. Just so we're walking over new ground. Exploring some new area here. Okay, this is the one that's fair patrolled, I do believe. Keep an eye out for the eyeball. Because I think we're a little... Yeah, this is the bear patrolled one. Well, since we already have one of these, we might as well pick this one up. There's a pattern to this. Like this one goes here, 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 here. Let's try to see if there's like a line. This one should be showing a bear. 
but it doesn't. There is definitely a bear over there, though. What is this? What is this thing? Oh, that's just... Okay, it just looked different. It looked like it was purple on the top. Completely threw me for a loop. I'm going to take some button mushrooms here. I'm going to have some good stews tonight. Vegetable stews. Okay, we're back at our, at our little uh, lake there. So I need to head over this way a little bit. No, nah, I'm not going to bother with the moss. It's pretty abundant. I'm not going to mess with that. Body mushrooms. Yeah, good. I already have a stick. So I'm going to keep collecting these because I'll need that for my campfire. What's this over here? Is that chintrail? Like chintrails over here. Or was that just a rabbit? I think it was a rabbit. We got a box over here. So let me grab this stick real quick and then I'll go hit this box and see what's inside. Rabbit led me right, led me right to it. Okay, so here's another one we're just discovering right up in front of us here. So this box is probably part of that tower. Old rags, I can come back for those. Well, let's keep an eye out for bear. I don't see the eye. I don't, I'm not getting any of the indicators. But now that we know that this is here, all right, we can come back get this later. No problem. We can make this in one day without using any, uh, yeah, without using any type of uh, camping gear or anything like that. What's this back here? Nothing. I uh, saw these. I thought these were something, but apparently not. Okay, that should be marked now. Did it not mark it? Not really. Okay, we're just gonna have to remember it's north of the uh, of the lake in this general area. Heck, it's right where I'm standing. This is it right here. Maybe once we move off the uh, move move away, it'll be revealed underneath our little uh, map marker there. Mulberries. I don't really want to eat them, but they are pretty good. Eat. Let's take a look again. It didn't really show it. It didn't really mark that on the map. I don't know why. I ran right past it. Hmm. There's another mulberry. There goes. We're not going to starve out here, guys. We need to drop mushrooms if we can. They grow back mushrooms or berries or whatever we don't feel like having for ah chicory yep. anything we don't feel like eating starting to get low sun's starting to get low I see a nice spot for camp I don't know Oh, there it is. It did. It did fill in finally. Okay, good. A little worried. I think maybe we'll make camp up here. Sort of looks nice. Yeah, well, let's, let's just make camp here. That'd be fine. Give us time to figure things out. Apparently you gotta be on a perfect surface. Okay, here we go. We'll make camp right here. Rotate it. Yeah, let's rotate it down towards the valley. Alright. There we go. Our tent has been placed. Moxie, what do you think? Wait until nighttime, tear down tent. Let's not do that. And then let's uh, get ourselves a fire going. Let's equip that. Place cooking kit. Aha! Pick up a rig. Alright, I like it. And it's just got a little fire going. 
And do I have to add any wood to it, or does it just cook all the time? Why would I use the... I could just set this outside my cabin and use this. I don't have to use sticks anymore. I don't think that's the way it's meant to be, but... We can play it that way. Very hungry. Feed. Feed Moxie. Good girl. You, oh, you should good. How can I resist? How can I resist you? Such a good fox. Alright, well, let's try cooking something. You know, we got all this. We have a vegetable soup, but let's give it a shot. There we go. See what happens. Looks like that's a forever fire. An infinity fire, as I like to say. Yeah, this is the way to do it. So I could just set up a tent and just leave it out somewhere. Go do explore and come back here. So basically, if I set a tent here and left it here, would it mark it as my tent? And then I could just leave it and then go off and set up another tent over here and another one over here. Sort of have like little outposts. I don't know. That would be kind of cool. But, uh, let me, let me run off here a little, just a little bit. See if, what happens on the map. Is it going to give me an icon for the camp? I bet you it gives me a little HUD icon here. can still see it. Hold on. No, it really doesn't. Keep running here. Let's see if it's on the map now. It's not on the map. So you don't want to stray too far from camp. Get lost. Alright, let's head on back. Not even a icon up here, so alright. Well, that's good to know. Guess if we get desperate, we can drop the sticks because we don't need that for the campfire. So I think these are meant to be dropped and then kind of left in a particular area uh, as, as an outpost because they have the you can only pick them up and put them down like so many times. So it's sort of semi-permanent type shelter. You can actually use chicory in there. Yeah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're not. We're not. We're not no, no, we're not doing that. Moxie's really antsy right now. I what that's all about. Kind of just want to use. Let's just use two of these. Get rid of. Make some space, basically. Right. I can eat this. Can I eat this raw? I can eat these raw. Let's do these. Yeah, let's do those. Because I can't eat those raw. I can eat the other ones as I run around in the morning. Yeah, this is the way to do it right here. Set up one of these. You don't even really need the, uh... You just need that, the other, the house to, for crafting things, basically, and storage. But, uh, as far as living day to day, this is the way to do it. Alright, I got an abundance of food. So it's a bit embarrassing at this point, actually. Right, let's see here. I want to eat... See, these are all super healthy. They fill me up completely, these veggie soups. They're way better than just a straight fish stew, it seems like, which I kind of find surprising, actually. Figured you'd probably need some protein of some sort. But. All right, so we got that. Can I feed Moxie? I can't feed you a stew, can I? No. Follow me, Moxie. Come on, I'm going to get you settled down. You're, you're like 
going bonkers around there. So we're just kind of hanging out here. I think if I venture, well, I'm not ready, quite ready. It's not, it's not sundown quite yet. Once it gets night, I'm going to see if being close to this fire keeps me warm. I'm going to test out the thermal properties of this fire. It's so peaceful here, though. I like it. I just... So we're basically, you know, northeast. Or north... Yeah, north, northeast, northeast of this uh, leaning tower here. Straight... Straight west of this... Uh, or when I say northeast, I meant northwest. Or north, northwest. And straight west of this uh, rock right here. So, in case we need to come back here and find the... Uh, camp. I want to continue to explore up here. Probably just circle back and come back here for the night. It looks like this just keeps going forever. So what I could do is I could actually throw some more stuff in there and have another stew ready for me upon my return. So let's just uh, let's make it a really good stew. There we go. Let's just use them all. And we'll just leave it in the pot. That won't attract bears now, would it? Nah, it'll be fine. Now Moxie looks nice and calm. Oh, stay right there, Moxie. Come on, what are you doing? Alright, what if I stand here? If I stand here, am I okay? Yep, as long as I'm close to the fire. So as soon as I step out, cold. As soon as I get back here, nice and warm. So we should be good. I think we are probably good to sleep. Kind of wish we could save it, but we can't. So hopefully we don't die in our sleep here. It's, it seems like I should be warm enough. Or at least I would get a warning like, you know, it's really cold outside. So there's no, okay, nothing going into the tent and then closing your eyes or anything like that. Well, we lived. The fire is out. So I guess that answers that question. We'd have to build another fire, probably. Do I have another fire to build? Or... No. So let me see here. I'm going to take this cooked food. I'm going to tear this down. Pick up a rig. Okay. So I can't do anything with that. I have to create a new fire each time. So... Alright. Well, that answers that question. Alright. Let's go do some more questing around here. Do I want to leave it here? I think I'm going to tear the tent down. Because I probably won't come back this time. Since I don't have another fire. I don't know what would happen at night. I'm not willing to risk it. So let's take this. Okay. There we go. Alright. And we are off. the edge of the map here? What is this? Looks like it might be. There's a big mountain here, unless there's caves that we can go in and come out to up top or something, but uh, this does appear to be edge of, of the map. Alright, let me recover some stamina here real quick. I'm not going to go too crazy far this way, because I'm pretty sure yeah, it's just going to go that way. Eh, might be worth checking out. We could go that way. Let's just go this way. Just exploring a different area. We're still exploring. That's what matters. Well, that was our first overnight camping expedition. First camping trip. We need to find like another. Is this a box? It kind of looks like a box. If there's a box, that normally means that there's something else around. Old rags. Okay, we'll take those. I should go back and grab the other old rags now. Oh, yep. We found ourselves a loot spot. Okay, what's causing this loot spot? Anything? Eh. Yeah. 
Not sure. I don't want to bash all these because I think last time I bashed them, all the stuff disappeared from inside. Once I went to sleep and I came back, like I left them there, and I think it, I think it all disappeared. I just don't want to risk picking it up. But we got ourselves a loot spot up here. Okay. And one here as well. Come back and ex explore. And we could probably make it up to here and back if we hurried in the morning. Or if we crafted ourselves some thermal gear, um, better clothing. Then we could travel a little bit at night at least, I'm assuming. Let's put the axe away. Makes us look like we're freaking serial killing maniac running around the forest. Is that? No, nothing. Okay. Just, it's more of these is what that is. gonna be the edge of the world here for now anyways at least in this build kind of nice wide open <gasps> wow did we just find a beach I kind of wish I brought my fishing rod now I wonder what kind of fish we catch here are there uh, fish to be caught here Keep my eyes open for the. I can pick up driftwood at least. I was looking for the little ripples, but I don't see them. Yeah, I don't want going. You get to freezing. You get too wet, it causes you to freeze. That was interesting. Let me get up a bit higher here. There's gotta be a lot. A lot of driftwood around here. I always get suspicious when the music sort of stops. Let's see what it looks like on the map. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's eat something. There we go. I'm just running with my rabbits and my fox. My fox is incredibly well behaved because it hasn't murdered any rabbits yet. Or poorly trained. Ah, oh, chicory. Yes, please. Thank you. Let's see if there's any more chicory around here. It seems like things show up in pairs. Alright, I think it's time to start heading back. We got a long ways to go. And a short time to get there. Okay, let's recover stamina. And then continue. Be nice to find like another little cabin we could build into. What the? Okay, something just played tricks with my eyes. Something flew in front of me. Another chicory. There it was. I swear to God, it looked like a pterodactyl. Oh, what? No, no, that's not chicory. I don't know what that was. I picked it up too fast. But see, it comes in pairs. Soli Dago? Soli Dago? I guess. I don't know. I'll read about it once we get back to a nice warm cabin. Wonder how we're doing on distance. Yeah, we're doing alright. Recover my stamina. Here. 
We should be fine. As long as we don't divert. Just kind of stay. Stay the course. Hold fast. All that jazz. Don't be ADD. Don't be ADD. Now's not the time. Ooh, look. <laughs> and then they throw this in front of me. Alright, we'll mark it on our map. And we'll come back. We found some good loot spots, though. We can come back and check. Oh, yeah, we're going to be fine. Might get in just after sundown, but it'll be close. Funny thing is, like the first two or three episodes of this game, uh, or this this series, like terrified of everything. Like, where's the bear? Where's the bear? Where's the bear? Is this our? Which one? Is this a new one? Yeah, we've been to this one. There was a box back there that we missed. I saw it. Just just underneath the uh, tower. Sort of lean, the little tower's kind of leaning over top of it. I saw it there. But we need to keep moving. Since we can't reuse our fire. Now, I wish I would have said one use. You know, for the fire. That would have been nice to know. But pretty. Like that. You know what I mean? What do you guys think? I think they should tell me, like, one use. If they're going to say something has three uses, I'm assuming that if something else isn't, like, an axe... Like, the axe, it doesn't tell you anything. It doesn't say infinite use or no... nowhere or what... I don't, probably infinite use. We need to go for that, though. We do need to go for that. What the hell is it? Oh, it's right there. important to pass up. Ah, they did. They fell away just as I was getting there. Because they were getting close to me. There it is. Had to get it. Had to get that. Alright, where's the... Here. Is it where's it? Is that all I got was the honey? Oh. Beeswax. Inventory full. That's easy. Uh, let's... Eat a soup. Alright, back on the road. Those are too few and far between to pass up. I had to go for it. It's worth taking a little bit of condition damage if we get back late. I think we're at our lake though, aren't we? Oh yeah, we're fine. We'll be just fine. Just fine. Not a care in the world, folks. I think we timed that pretty good, actually. Alright. This has been a good episode. Found lots of places to loot for the next episode. That's for sure. Had a fun time camping out. Understanding, pushing our limits to how far we can actually travel in a day. And gaining, you know, just general confidence with uh, getting out there into the world. Yeah, this game has so much potential. It's so good. It's one that I look forward to when I'm like, oh, this is the day I need to record a uh, Among Trees. I, I get pretty pumped up for it. Just like the Long Dark, you know. Thief Simulator. Actually, all, all the games right now. I, I really like Call of the Sea, too. I think it has a great story. Uh, not the most popular series, but Definitely, uh, definitely a beautiful, beautiful game. Lots of fun. So, all right, here we are. We made it back. All right, guys. So I'm looking here at the clock. It's looking like, uh, it's about time to end this episode, but that doesn't mean it has to be the end of your blue <laughs> viewing pleasure. Bluing. Oh, maybe I just need to take a nap. Maybe it's, cor I'm just going to blame it on Corona. All right. So anyway, you guys can always head down into the description and check out the playlists and uh, binge watch any of those series. Those are some of my, my most popular series. 
uh, yeah, hit the, hit the description and check those out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all take care.